Hi, family. <clears throat> oh, what are you talking about? Somebody tired. I know. I don't supposed to be drinking with um drinking with these on, but y'all know I'm hard headed. Mm. <laughs> okay. You got to forgive me. I'm tired for one. I pray to God <clears throat> I'm not catching a cold. Uh, it was cold today, really cold today, and uh, raining. So I had to get out in the rain to go handle things. So I had to go th to the dentist today. Y'all know how I am about this right here. These. Say so these line online on. <laughs> you can use them. <laughs> this is about third week with the mom. They they been pretty good. I'm doing a review on those two, but um, <clears throat> you have to excuse me because my throat again, like I said, is itchy. Uh, my blood pressure been low. I don't know if you can tell. My face kind of pale, so I've been trying to. Hey, 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 y'all. But having to be on my oxygen now lately, but it's okay and I'm okay. All right. So I want to go over the new guidelines uh, for the new. PPP and then PPP one. Okay, so it just came out with it. I well, I saw it. I saw it this morning. Okay, I saw it today this morning. But I didn't get. I've been busy all day, so I didn't, I haven't had. I get, I didn't get a chance to read it. So I just finished reading it a while ago, and it's um it's eighty two pages and forty two pages long. Okay. And yeah, yeah, you know, I read, I, I read. <laughs> so these are the guidelines that they just released. Okay. And my, remind you, remind you, now they may change some stuff. They as of right now, as of today, was January the seventh. As of today, they do the new rules, the final rules. So on the eighty-two page one, that's it consolidates the rules for the PPP forgiveness loan and the rules for businesses that want to apply for the PPP one. So if you did not apply for PPP, PPP one, you can still apply for PPP one. It, and the rules will kind of be the same um, as they were before uh, for all the ones who got PPP one. So PPP two is only for the ones who have got PPP one. You know, so if you never applied for the PPP before, you will still be in a category or of the PPP one. Okay, so which you know at that time it was 500 employees or less, which now you know they have the PPP two, which is 300 employees or less, which none of us fall in. None. We, we 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 less, we less. We ain't got 300 employees, <laughs> you know. So that don't apply to us anyway for us that. So we are we are good on that part. As far as having the employees part of it, okay. So, and then the, on the forty-two page one, it's basically just like a layout of the guidelines. That's how that that went uh, on those pages. From what I, from my summary of those pages, it was just more so of just like a layout of this. So, <clears throat> this is how it's going to work. You can get up to two million. You know, the first one was ten million. But this one here is up to two million dollars. That's the max. And you gotta have three hundred or less employees, be a sole proprietorship, or uh, independent contractor. Okay. You know, of course, being a corporation, or whatever. But you can see, you can be an independent contractor, sole proprietorship. You know, or you know, you can be a corporation with the employees. Um, you have to have used, if you got PPP1, you have to have done used all of it up already. So, whatever you got for PPP1 must be gone. You got it, it, you cannot have any money left from PPP1. This PPP1, this PPP1 <laughs> it has to be gone. All money has to be gone and used 
um, in order to get applied for two. Okay. And then you need to show, and this is for applying for two right now. You have to show at least 25% reduction of gross revenue and decline for 2020. So what it, what it is is in 2018, whatever quarter you may choose to pick. So you may say, which is the three months. So you may say for, in 19, you want to, whatever three months you use, you will say, okay, I'll do, um, for 19, do uh, November, September, October, November. September, October, November, those three months. You would do the same thing for 2020, November, October, December. Okay, so you would do it that way. Uh, did I say that right? Whatever three months you use for 19, same three months you would use for 2020. And you must show a decline from 19 and 20. So, of course, with the pandemic going on, you should have a decline anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, it must show a decline in your gross revenue um, for those quarters. It got to be the same. From 19 and 20, whichever three months you choose in 2020, 2020, it has to be the same three months for 2019 in comparison with 20% uh, reduction rate. Okay, then um, now hotels and restaurants, you get to do a 3.5 rate, average monthly payroll rate. Everybody else has to do the 2.5. I went over this the other day. So basically, like I was saying, if you put on there on your Schedule C or whatever, whatever you made or make or whatever, like I was saying, like forty-eight thousand, if that's what you made, you would times that. I'm sorry, you times that times twelve, divide that, divide that by twelve, and then you would times that by uh, two point five. So that's how, and that's that's how you will get the amount of loan that you get. That's how that works. So now, anybody who owns a restaurant or a hotel, they get more. They get the 3.5 rate more. Everybody else still get the 2.5. So it's still 2.5 for everybody else. It only raised up for uh, restaurants and hotels. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now, if you are a first time applying for the PPP or... You didn't get the PPP. You applied for it, but you got denied. Now they, it's kind of they, it's like a leeway. So they're giving people more chances now. It's like you know more lenient to get the PPP now. So they give also giving additional help too. If you have ten employees or less, they're supposed to. I put it that way. They're supposed to. They're supposed to give help, have additional help <laughs> for any for any uh, business that has. 10 employees or less. That's even if you are a sole proprietorship, um, independent contractor, gig worker, whatever you want to call yourself or whatever, then, you know, um, you're able to apply and it's more lenient now, even if you got denied the first time. So you should be able to uh, get it this time if you do the right thing. If you do the right thing. Okay. So the same rules are going to apply for PPP, PPP1. Except, like I said, it's going to be more um, a liable, it's going to be more a liable forgiveness expenses. Like PPP one, you can only do you have to do sixty percent of uh, payroll. Then you can do mortgage or whatever. So now they're going to add, they're adding more uh, expenses that you can, you know, use and to use the money for it. Instead of just being in that box of you can only use it for this this year or this year or this year, you know. So now for PPP two, you it's more added on to it of what you can use the money for. So even even with PPP one for the people who is their first time getting the PPP one, you now have more leading to expenses that you can use the money on. That goes like that. Okay. So, let's see. Huh, I did notes because it's a little long. Y'all know I must love y'all. <laughs> you know, to keep y'all updated on this. So, then it came out with the forgiveness form. So, it's called like a simplified forgiveness um, application. And that's only for people who got up to $150,000 on the PPP. 
It's a one page long form and no documents will be needed for the forgiveness, but you must keep records for four years just in case the SBA audit. So on that form, the, for the forgiveness form that they about to have to come out, it's going to be one page long, no documentation needed, but you must keep records for four years just in case they come back and want to audit you. So that way you will have whatever you need, you know, to show them proof of whatever. Okay. So, and, and they haven't came out with it yet. So, but they got 24 days, 24 days from the time of when they did it, which will be the end of January. So my people, my clients, calm down. Okay. We're not worried about the forgiveness right now. Okay. Because we can still apply for the PPP too without having it being forgiven yet. So if you haven't had yours forgiven yet, don't worry about it. If you ain't filled out the form yet for the forgiveness yet, if you got it and you haven't filled out the form yet, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because you can still apply for PPP too. Even though one has not been forgiven yet, okay? My clients, we ain't worried. Calm down. We're good, okay? <laughs> so, um, and plus, 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 let me tell you this right here. People who actually have em employees, right, that you do W-2s for, people who have employees that you do W-2s for, do not, uh, do, do not apply for the forgiveness yet. Because there's a credit that you can get and get more money from doing that credit on your return, okay? So, if you have uh, and have actually like employees, like real like employees, employees, like a lot of employees or whatever, do not, and you do W-2s for these employees, do not file for that uh, forgiveness yet. Don't file for that forgiveness yet because if you do, then you'll mess up that credit. You won't be able to get that credit because this is free money. Okay? So don't do it yet on that part. I'm just going to, that's an FYI for those people. <clears throat> okay? So, also, the EIDL grant, if you got that, you know, at first they were saying that whatever you got on the grant, you would have to deduct that from your PPP if you got the first PPP. Now you don't have to. So what if whatever grant that you have, if you got ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, or whatever, now it will not affect your PPP. So you don't have to worry about that. Because remember, on on the first uh, application, they were saying forgiveness application, they were saying that whatever you got from the EIDL grant, it will be subtracted from your PPP forgiveness. So now it's not like that. Now you can actually um, just. You know, that's, that grant is just that grant. So you're not subtracting it from your PPP if you got the first one, okay? <clears throat> so you don't have to even worry about that at all for us on the forgiveness side of it. Then, uh, let's see here. Uh, my notes, my notes, my notes, my notes. Okay. What needs to be done right now to get ready for the PPP? This is what everybody needs to do to get ready. So, you'll have everything in place. When the gates split open, everything you need, you will have. Okay? So, this is what you need to have and do now. You need to make sure that you get, she doesn't have an inbox. You would have to email her. It's somewhere on her page. <laughs> oh, I'm not even reading right now. So, okay, so, I'm just talking. I'm not even reading. Matter of fact, let me put the, put, let me put the uh, comments over there on the side. So, that way I can't even see them. Okay, so, um, what you're going to need is... Get your 2019 and your 2020 financial statements up to date. Get those up to date, which is your monthly profit and loss. So, for the years of your monthly profit and loss, you want to do 19, to, which is your tax return. You know, get get that, have it up to date, have the statement, financial statement up to date. Okay, even if you haven't, if you haven't filed your return, just have. Your bank statements, because you have to need, you're going to need your monthly bank statements. They're going to want to see those. So you get your 2019 and 20 bank statements. Okay. Now, 
um, let's see where I'm at. Oh, I talked about the 25% reduction from the quarter of 2019, but that's only for employers. Okay, so the ones with employers, you need to get your 2019 and 2020 payroll reports for your 940, your 940 or 941, your W2s or state payroll reports. So if you use a if you're using a like QuickBooks or whatever you're using for your payroll, uh upkeep or keeping make sure that you ask for them now. Ask for your payroll reports. So if you got a CPA or whatever, make sure you go ahead on now and ask for your payroll payroll reports. So that way you can have all this stuff that, that you need <clears throat> to upload to uh to get the new PPP part two. So make sure you have that, and I'm going to go back over that, your monthly profit and loss and your monthly bank statements for 2019 and 2020. Y'all know y'all, all y'all can do is log on to your bank account and then download your statements for the year. So, you know, that's simple and easy to do. But just go ahead on and have those things together and ready. So when the gates open, woo, we can just walk through. Okay, just walk through that mug, all right? So now, like I said, the ones that employers, this has nothing to do with the self-employed, independent contractor, sole proprietor. That ain't nothing to do with you. The ones that had, that that's employers, make sure you get your 2019, 2020 payroll reports that you follow on your 940, 941. You know, y'all know if you're a corporation, then well, if you file your taxes, then you should know that you'll be filing a 940, 941, or whatever, or your W-2s, and then your state payroll and reports. Make sure you get all of that from your CPA, from whoever your accountant, from whoever doing, your, your, whoever doing however you keep it up with your payroll as being an employer, okay? Make sure you have that. Also, start communicating with your bank for the ones that got the PPP one, whoever you got your loan from, start communicating with them because if they they may not even be giving out the second round. They may not even be doing second round. So you want to make sure that you know a bank, that you will be with a bank when it's time to apply for the PPP, that you will have a bank that go oh, you be already have pick a bank somewhere because you may have to pick another bank to get part two with. So make sure that your bank is doing the PPP second round. So you want to make sure that that, that 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 is being done too because you may have to get to find another bank. So those are the things that um, that's going on right now. So that's what they put out late, 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 or early this morning. And so that's how that's what it is. So you want to make sure you have all those things ready. So when they open up the gates... You have it ready. You can upload upload your stuff and keep it pushing. But you know that it's gonna be up to two million dollars on the PPP. Two million dollars up two million dollars. That's the amount up to two million that you can apply for or whatever the case may be, depending on depending on your company. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, but you know, I'm just saying. You know, uh, I don't do red flags, but I'm just saying. I wouldn't, but you can do up to two million dollars. You know, that's what that's what they have um, out there. Be up to two million dollars. The max is two million, and that's for a uh, round two because that first round one was ten million. So they just they dropped it down from ten million to two million. So that's basically it. Just make sure that you show the twenty five percent reduction, which that should be easy to do. Doing from nineteen to twenty should be easy to show a drop within the three months. Of, you know, the 19. I'm not going to say the word because it's going on my YouTube channel. But the 19. Okay. So that's basically it. So you get ready to apply. And like I said, if you didn't get round, if you didn't get part one, if you didn't, um, if you got denied, or in, you could be eligible now to get part one. Okay. So don't say, oh, well, I didn't get, I didn't get, you know, the first one, I got denied the first one. Okay, that's fine. You can still apply again for 
part one. It will be on part one. It just, I mean, you have, it'll be more lenient for you. You may be able to get it more easier this time. So don't be discouraged about it. You know, if you didn't get round part one, just reapply again. You know, when the time, when, it, when they open back, when they do open it up. And the ones who did get it, you know, just get ready for round two. You know, so whatever, just about whatever you got for round, um, if you did get it, whatever you got basically for part for part one, you basically want to stay around the same thing. You want everything to match up. You want all your documents to match up and say the same thing. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> all right. Well, I love you guys. I can't see now. I'm going to see what you're saying. Okay, what if you started in 2020? What if you started in 2020? Okay. So, now, with the VPP, that don't matter. Okay. I was trying to read some of the comments. I don't do inbox. Uh, you have to hit me up. 762-233-8060. I don't have inbox on my phone, so I don't do inbox. Um, I am. I'm going to take care of myself. I got me some... <clears throat> Some tea and stuff now. Um, well, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to read some of the comments so I can answer that right now. One to ten, how do you feel, Lord? I love you. Oh, one to ten. Um, I'm tired, but I'll be I'll be all right. Okay, all right. Well, that's information for the PPP too. So hopefully, I'll be they'll be releasing some information for the EID. Um, so they can go and open up that. And uh, I basically know about all the, the EIDL just about already. But they got to come out with instructions. So, which they should come out with that at least by the 11th. That's a 15 day. They have 15 days. So, the 11th is their 15 days is up. So, by then, they should come out with guidance and instructions for, in an updated portal for the EIDL. So don't go on there now trying to go apply for no EIDL. It's still the same old portal. It's not the it's not it's still the same. It's not the new one. And there's no grant on there. So you're gonna miss out on the grant. And you're gonna have if you don't apply it already for the EIDL, you just double applying again. So don't mess with that right now. Wait till it open up. Wait till it open up first and then you apply for that. All right. Well, I got to go. I holler. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Peace and love and blessings.